Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing or going over my current uh, luxury shoe collection. Let's jump right into it. So I'm going to be starting off with my sandals. Um, and these are my Louis Vuitton um, bikini flat sandals in color red. As you guys can see, they're, they're pretty much like plastic sandals. They're super practical, okay? They're plastic like yeah like so you can wear them on the beach and that's what i have uh, been doing so i always take these on vacation now um the shoes are comfortable there's nothing um extra special about these um when it comes to you know wearability they're comfortable there's not thankfully they're, they don't hurt so i like that about the shoes they're in color red you see the lv um the LV padlocks on them. I'm trying to see if they have had any wear and tear. I mean, just staring at it right now, I don't think so. I haven't even really like taken the time to look at them to see how they've worn, but um, they've worn okay. Only the only thing I see is that the uh, the buckle kind of peeled a little bit so I guess it's kind of it's metal underneath and they painted it with the red um coating so I just don't know why they just didn't leave it as gold but whatever I mean it's still cute comfortable no complaints about it I love the back of the sandals because they do have like an anti-slip um situation going on so it's super comfortable to walk in whenever it's like if it's you know there's water on the floors and stuff and it just shows made in Italy underneath there. Super comfortable, my first sandals. The second sandals in my collection are these Christian Dior Dior Act sandals. I really like the sandals. Honestly, I was never a dad <laughs> dad sandal kind of girl. I would have never thought that I would purchase this or you know have this in my collection no um <laughs> but fun funny story my hubby has some slides like this or sandals like this and i was just, when he bought them i was like what are you doing what is that what are those you know and um i saw it in this print i think this was from the was this from the um the spring summer collection this year and I was like, oh, this is so cute. Whenever I went to the store and I just tried it on and it was so comfortable. I'm like, okay, okay. And it's, I'm like, you know what? Okay, they're dad sandals, but they kind of have like a whole floral vibe going on. So maybe I can justify owning these and having these. So okay, I bought them and this was like, this is one of my best purchases in the year. I can't wait to film like my best purchases for the year 2023 because we went to Europe and these shoes, oh my gosh, these sandals were amazing, okay? They just felt like walking in tennis shoes. With the exception of the fact that they make, it make like a really weird noise. I heard um, <laughs> the Chanel Dead Sandals do the same thing. It's so irritating. But I haven't tried this hack and I'll let you know if I try it. But I've come across some videos that said if you like apply baby powder underneath your feet, it would prevent it from making like a farting sound but anyways the only downside with these sandals is that they do make fart sounds like like sounds like you're farting whenever you're walking which is real weird and awkward especially if it's really quiet but they're comfortable super comfortable i just like the whole like floral vibe going on on these sandals they're so cute so so cute I have no regrets purchasing this and I do enjoy wearing them like I have rocked these sandals so much this summer and I'm gonna keep rocking them <sighs> love and love my next um, slides or sandals are the Louis Vuitton Bomb Dia flat comfort mules okay these shoes are relatively new to my collection and <sighs> I am still very much, you know, the jury is still out on this because they are super cute. I mean, they just look like the typical Birkenstocks. Um, they're cute. Um, but whenever I do wear them, they have this weird arch thing on the inside. And they kind of hurt, okay? 
I am hoping that whenever when I'm able to successfully break into these shoes, they do get more comfortable. Um, they're my perfect size. I have them in 39s. In fact, my hubby did get them in 38s, I think. Was it 38? Yeah, he got them in 38s first. And I went to go switch them out for 39s because I just felt like they were just a little bit too snug on my feet. Um, and I'm still very much breaking into these, okay? I think they look good. They're a super, like, casual vibe. Just cute to, you know, walking and just... It kind of matches my um, Alma BB and he just thought, oh, okay, he saw this and I was like, okay, it probably would match, you know, one of my um, my monogram bags, which is cute. I like the vibe. It definitely just, you know, screams dad sandals again. I was never a Birkenstock girl, but anyways, I do think the they're cute. I feel like I want to wear them for a while then I feel like I can give a fair and honest review at that point. But for now, these are the Louis Vuitton Bum DF Flat Comfort Mules. My next sandals are the Orans. I just picked one of each foot just to show you guys how many I do own right now. Right now, I own four. Um, I have one in the beige mastique, gold, white, and in the purple. I'm not sure exactly what this is called at the store, but I know this is called beige mastique and gold so anyways i love these sandals love them so much i purchased the white one first this was my first white uh, white sandal white anything that i put on my foot i really just primarily bought this because i wanted to have like an all white outfit um sometimes um i think it was for my yeah sometimes last year and i got this and i'm just like wow this is so comfortable i know that people complain about not being able to break into them but what i think it is is if you get these sandals in the epsom leather it might be harder to break into i have none in any epsom leather so i don't really know i know that these are in the i think there's this is the swift leather I'm not sure exactly what leather this is called but anyways i love these sandals i love them so much i went and purchased other colors and no regrets whatsoever. I have, after purchasing the white one, I quickly went and got the gold. So these two I have had for the longest. And the purple and the beige mastique, I ended up buying in Europe because they were way cheaper than, you know, than buying it here in the US. So I was able to save a couple of hundreds of dollars actually purchasing this from from Europe so yeah nothing bad to say about these sandals there are a bunch of reviews online on them so you know what yeah I love them I feel like they even like they need their own video but they're so comfortable okay love them next are these Dior D-Way slides in color like I'm not sure what they're called at the store what do you call them? But they're like a burgundy, like a dark, like a wine color. These, I haven't, to be honest, like worn them a lot. I feel like I should like get more wear out of them this summer before, you know, we get into like fall and winter. But honestly, where I live, it is warm until like pretty much till the end of the year. So I want to def I feel like I would get more wear out of this in the fall. They're cute, casual sandals. In the same Dior fashion, here are my Dior slingbacks. My embellished Dior slingbacks. These are so cute, guys. This is completely embellished with crystals. It's so, I don't know if you, like the video of the camera is catching how shiny they are. These are so gorgeous, guys. They're so, so beautiful. And you see it has the Jadior across the back of the um, sling as well on the back. They're beautiful shoes. I feel like they're a little bit uncomfortable because they're higher. Um, and I think I should have gotten them a little bit bigger. I feel like I should have gotten them in size. I got them in size 39. I don't know if I should have gotten 40. Because then I didn't want it to be sliding like from behind my heel. But they're cute. 
have I gotten my money's worth out of it? No. I have worn them only twice since I purchased them and I've had them for a few months. But these are just so cute. I was like, if I was going to add like the sling backs, this would definitely be the ones. Yeah. The next shoes I have are my Jimmy Choo Amita 45 sling backs in color black and blue. These shoes are, oh gosh, these are the most comfortable shoes in my collection now. These are the most comfortable shoes in my collection. Low end, high end, I'm not really into like luxury shoes as much as I am into luxury bags. But these shoes are so comfortable. Oh gosh. When I tried on the black ones, I was like, you know what, I might as well just get the blue ones too. And like they were like pretty, you know, fair price wise. I love them. Oh gosh. The fact that you can dress them up because of the heel height, dress it down. Oh guys these shoes i don't want to say too much about it i love these shoes these shoes no cons whatsoever they're still very well, new to my collection but these shoes no cons about them whatsoever okay i love them i love them i would 100 percent recommend them if kitten hill shoes are your vibe please do not sleep on these shoes comfortable comfortable so comfortable gosh the next shoes i have in my collection or well, set of shoes as you can see there two pairs here are the manolo blanik hangisi mules so guys the classic hangisis are cute i just never like grab it i just felt like they just were like uh, a little bit too grandma looking for me Hey, we all have our different styles and stuff. They're cute for sure. I probably want to just like casually just wear them every time. Jeans, skirt, pants, shorts, skorts, dresses, you name it. Beautiful, beautiful. They're so comfortable and they're not too high. So I love them. Nothing bad to say about them. I'm excited about, you know, styling them for the these for the fall these more for the summer and i mean honestly i'm never i'm not the girl who like limits myself to okay i want to wear this only in the fall or only in the summer i wear them when i want to wear them okay i get my money's worth okay <laughs> um, so anyways these are the hangisi meals and i love them so much they're so cute and it doesn't hurt that i actually got them for a good deal because i purchased them in paris and of course got a good you know discount and last but not the least, these are my rosy pumps, the Amina Moadi rosy pumps in PVC. They're just so cute. And guys, I mean, I really wasn't into the whole, to be honest, like Amina Moadi craze. Um, but these shoes are so comfortable. I cannot even believe how comfortable these shoes are. Okay. I'm not about to buy a pair of, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm not about to buy a pair of shoes that I'm not going to get good use out of and like it's going to be hurting my feet. No, 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 no. I want it to be comfy and cute. And these shoes are so comfortable. I tried on some other ones. We're not as comfy as these ones. These are like, like stretchy. The plastic is still yummy and soft. And I mean, these rosy sandals are just so, so cute guys like and the nude is really what got me i'm like finally perfect black girl nudes so cute it's so cute like whenever i wear it from afar you can't even tell i have shoes on like you can just see like the like the heel and the front like sparkly but it's just like oh, okay girl did you just like add jewelry to your feet <laughs> they're so pretty i love them so much and most importantly they are comfortable they are comfortable. Um, not sure. I don't have any other I mean, Amuadi shoes. I'm not sure if it's because of the heel or it's just, I don't know. I Personally, these heels are very interesting to me. I'm not really a super fan, but whatever. If it makes the shoes more comfortable, hey, okay, sure. But these like, are just so darling. It's just so. Anyways, this pretty much sums up my um, luxury shoe collection. Like I mentioned, I have... Uh, only a few and I am very satisfied with the amount of shoes I own right now because <laughs> I'm getting good use out of every one of them and yeah if you enjoyed this video 
and you would like to see more videos like this my next video is going to be my handbag my updated handbag um collection because so much has changed some bags are out some bags are in i'm excited to share that with you guys if you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel i would really greatly appreciate it i am really trying to do better and grow my channel because i definitely enjoy talking all things luxury um and yeah thank you so much for watching my video once again and see you in my next video guys bye